Hello everyone and welcome to my guide to understanding the puzzles of the Remastered Mist. In this video I will be unlocking the secrets of the Mechanical Age. The linking book to the Mechanical Age can be found inside the large gears near the dock. Check out this video if you have yet to unlock this book's location. Opening the book and placing your hand onto the panel will link you to the age. Although the bulk of your time will be spent searching for the linking book back to Mist Island, there are a couple of other things you will want to accomplish in each age. Recall that the brothers Cirrus and Akinar are trapped in the red and blue books in the library on Mist Island, and they have tasked you with finding the missing red and blue pages. Each age contains one red and one blue page. Make sure to find them as you explore. In addition, Cirrus and Akinar have living spaces in three of the four ages. Exploring these spaces gives you insight into the brothers' personalities. Don't forget that at the end of the game you will have to decide who to trust. In the Mechanical Age, both Cirrus and Akinar have what can be best described as throne rooms. Each of these rooms has an additional hidden room that you really should explore. With that, let's get to the puzzles. Upon linking to the age, you will immediately notice a large structure which is in fact a fortress. You can learn more about the culture and history of this age by reading the Mechanical Age book in the library, though that is not necessary to solve any of the puzzles. Immediately before you is a platform, to the left of which is a device into which four symbols can be entered. Our task is to find the correct symbols. To the right of the fortress is a small, inaccessible island, but note how the fortress gangway is on a circular track. The entire fortress can be rotated to access this small island. As you enter the fortress, it does not matter if you initially go left or right, as the place is laid out in a circle. You will find a number of devices in the brothers' throne rooms that you can interact with, but only one is relevant to solving the age's puzzles. In Akinar's room is a device labeled Rotation Simulator. To operate the device, you must first unlock it using the lever on the left, then pushing and holding the lever on the right will result in the image rotating. Upon releasing the lever, note how the needle always drifts to one of the four compass headings. Pulling the left lever will then lock it to that heading. Also note that each heading has its own distinct sound upon locking. Unfortunately, as the label on the device states, this is just a simulation and does not actually rotate the fortress. We need to find the real deal. At the back of the fortress is a hallway leading to a central column which doesn't seem to be working. However, to the right of the hallway is a button which lowers a stairway at the bottom of which is another device. Pushing the lever gets things rotating. Release the lever when the openings in the two circles line up. Ascend the stairway and raise them once again. It is now clear that the central column is, in fact, an elevator. There are three buttons in the elevator, but only one of them is lit. The unlit buttons don't do anything, so our only option is to go up. The elevator takes you to a small platform, but there doesn't seem to be anything to do here. Returning to the elevator, notice that the central rectangular button is now lit. Pressing it results in an alarm sounding for a few seconds, followed by the elevator lowering a short distance and stopping. Go back to the upper platform and look up. Notice the railings atop the elevator car? There is something up there. Press the central button in the elevator again, but this time step out before it descends. You can now access the top of the elevator car, where you will find two levers which are reminiscent of the levers on the rotation simulator in Akinar's throne room, except this device actually does rotate the fortress. The levers work in the same way as they do on the simulator, with the left one unlocking the device and the right rotating the fortress. Although there is no visual display, note the audio clues when you lock the fortress in its new position. From this, you can tell which way the fortress is pointing. If you need to, you can call the elevator and return to the simulator to practice. Besides noting the sound at each of the four compass headings, it is also useful to note that it takes about three seconds to rotate one quarter turn. Keeping this in mind is useful when you can't actually see the rotation. Once you are comfortable on the simulator, return to the top of the elevator and rotate the fortress to the east heading. 
which should now give you access to the small island that we noted upon arriving in the age. At the top of the stairway is a pedestal with two symbols on it. This is the second half of the code that we need. If you look to the left, you will notice another small island, this one in the north position. Return to the fortress and rotate it to that position, again practicing on the simulator if you feel you need to. At the top of the second island is another pedestal holding the other half of our code. We now have all the information that we need, however there is a fourth direction still unexplored. From the North Island we can't see anything to the west, but there is a grisly surprise for you to check out if you want to. Either way, returning the fortress to the south position gives us access to the island we first linked onto. Entering the code into the device found there lowers a short stairway, giving us access to the linking book back to Mist Island. Simply place your hand on the panel when you are ready to leave. The book takes you to the library. Any page that you found will be placed on the shelf as you approach either the red or the blue books. You can leave the page on the shelf, but it is perfectly safe to add the page to the matching book. With each page, Cirrus and Akinar will be able to speak more clearly. Both will claim to be wrongly imprisoned, plead for more pages, while at the same time discrediting their brother. Deciding who to trust will be a decision we will eventually have to make.